to look at one example of a milk right innovation that is revolutionizing milking, the Impulse Air system. It's revolutionary because air is introduced into the system above the milk. It takes the milk away much more efficiently. It stops splashback and it allows the vacuum to do what it's meant to do. Pull the milk away without damaging the teat. With a conventional round liner system, the liner closes on two sides. It creates a pinch point at the teat end, especially within herds with variable sized teats. This makes sizing the liner to the teat critical. Round liners are prone to slips and squeals and fall offs, which slow down milking and damage the teats. Triangular liners don't work this way. They close more evenly and don't pinch. This means they fit a wider range of teats and stay on better, less slips and squeals, speeding up milking and improving teat end condition. With less air movement between the triangular liner and shell, we get a gentler closing and opening action, again easier on the teat. There is a fundamental problem with conventional milking systems. Air enters the system through the claw. When the liner opens and closes, it creates pressure fluctuations that cause the milk to splash back to the teat end. This is why cow's teats are wet after milking. This spreads pathogens, slows down milk removal, agitates the milk and is uncomfortable for the cow. With impulse air, air is now introduced into the system through the liner mouthpiece above the milk. It gives an even vacuum gradient through the system, stopping splashback. Teats are now dry after milking. Now the vacuum can do what it's meant to do, get the milk away without damaging the teat. These unique features of the impulse air means that it stays on the teats better than conventional round liners. Now we get much smoother milk flow and reduce the negative effects of vacuum on the teat, giving much better teat condition. So what do independent tests show? After testing at a variety of farms, under varying conditions and with various liner types, the results show much better teat conditioning. No teat reddening or ringing, with faster parlour throughput. Milk agitation is reduced, and impulse air allows us to reduce cluster weight. Like most good ideas, it's simple and revolutionary. It ensures that the vacuum in the system doesn't damage the teat. Dairy farmers can now enjoy improved milking speed and better teat health without compromise. Better teat health means lower somatic cell count and reduced mastitis. Milkers and animals will certainly feel the difference with Milkrite's impulse air system. Farmers are rapidly converting to this new system. The cows take to the clusters very well and they let the milk down immediately so there's no stalling when you first put the cluster on and they're very happy with them, no kicking off. Since we put in the, the new system, the cows are much more comfortable being milked. We get very, very little liner slip. In fact, virtually nil compared to the previous uh, units that we used. So we're really pleased with it. My veterinarian and I walk through the milk barn after every preg check and we just we look at teat ends and judge them and see how they're going and uh, we, since using the Impulse Airliner we've noticed they've gotten better and uh, the teat ends have, have, uh, have greatly improved here. Yeah, the clusters come off very well and they're nice and light to put on. I found the clusters that we had before heavy and cumbersome but these are sort of very springy and light and I'm sure the heifers take to them a lot better than they used to take to the older ones. We watch the somatic cell count because we get paid on it and we've come down from 300. Right now we're running at 150 or a little below on somatic since we've got on them. So right now we're at our top bonus in our co-op. Since fitting the, the Impulse